Well, the ongoing heat wave may be dangerous for your pets as well as us. Plus, one organization is offering residents a way to prepare for another type of severe weather just ahead on Live at 5. And now, the most watched and trusted news in the Panhandle, News Channel 10. At 5, Perryton continues to chip away at cleaning up the city after the recent deadly tornado. News Channel 10's Devin Darmstetter joins us live from Perryton to give us a look at the progress made so far. Greg, Lindsay, right now I am on Birch Street and I was out here in this exact location just a couple of weeks ago. The reason this street initially caught my eye is because it literally looked like a wrecking ball just came straight down and demolished anything and everything in its way. Clearly, it still looks that way. This is some sort of cell tower right behind me. Obviously hasn't been cleaned up yet, but it's very obvious that destruction did take place here. However, it's clear as day to me that there have been cleanup efforts underway. The trees that were initially hit are now chopped off and the piles and piles of wreckage and debris have been shoveled off and taken to landfill. However, it doesn't get any easier seeing this type of destruction. I mean, right where I'm standing used to be someone's home. I had the opportunity to speak with Red Cross earlier today, and they tell me when a natural disaster hits like this, like a tornado, right off the bat, it is short-term recovery mindset. What can we do in the next 24 hours to survive? Food, water, shelter. While it's only been two weeks since the tornado hit here in Perryton, they tell me that they're now shifting to a more long-term recovery mindset. So Red Cross has been working out of the Perryton High School, and it used to be a shelter. That is no longer the case. Today is the first day that the Red Cross in Perryton the High School is no longer being used as a shelter because they tell me that the victims have been moved to more long-term housing. While if that's not the case for some of you, they are still working out of the high school. So if you need anything, the Red Cross is still at Perryton High School. As for now, I'm currently working on finding out and gathering the stories of those who were severely impacted. One who used to live on this very street. I'll have that for you coming up on the news at six. Until then, back to you.